So you've got a 50 millimeter F2. What are you gonna do? You're gonna wanna take that next third of a step down to 50 millimeter 1.8. In this case, it's a Nikkor 50 millimeter 1.8E. But are you ever really gonna be happy to be there? No, you're gonna wanna take the next third of a step down to a Nikkor SC Auto 1.4. Oh my goodness, it's so fast, it's so big. Oh, look at that, oh, it's heavy, and it's obviously gotta take excellent photo. It's, uh, it's an artistic lens. At F1.4 there is heavy, heavy vignetting. It's practically a built-in Instagram filter and a popular one at that. And it's also not remotely sharp. This is a soft lens wide open. It vignettes, it's big, it's heavy, and I don't have a lot of use for it. This is the third lens that I converted. It's a non-AI lens. So to convert it, I had to go in and dremel out part of the aperture ring to make sure that it would fit on my D750. It can be had for 30 to $60 and more towards the $30 range on eBay, which falls in line with the other lenses that I showed. For example, the F2 ranges towards the higher end of that. You're probably looking at $40, $50, maybe $60 if you're impatient, and that's because it has the superior optics. The 1.8e has a couple advantages. First off, it's an AI lens, so you don't need to do any converting to it. It's also very thin. This is referred to as a pancake lens because of how thin it is. It's practically a lens cap. You could leave it on the camera and it wouldn't stick out much further than the grip. And it's lighter than a 1.8G. So here's a series of test images. I shot this with the other two 50 millimeters that I showed earlier in the video. And keep in mind, I didn't do that great of a job converting the lens, so the aperture information is off by two stops and then notch it in the right place. And there's heavy vignetting going on. It's really apparent. Um, sometimes I have a little difficulty noticing it when it's lighter in other lenses, but it's very noticeable on this lens. And I was focused on this leaf, and it's not sharp. There's no detail. It looks pretty soft. Uh, but the, uh, the bokeh looks fine. Nothing is terrible that would uh, be distracting. So in that regard, it's all right. This is actually F2, and there's still vignetting going on. And we zoom in one to one. It's not particularly sharp either. I feel that the F2 does a better job at F2 than this lens stop down. And here we are at 2.8. Uh, pretty sure there's still a little vignetting that will show up when we uh, go to the next aperture, but a lot more detail, it's sharpened up quite a bit. So in that regard, uh, you know, that's where it's starting to get good. And here we have F4, and there was a little uh, vignetting still. If we go back and forth in the corner, you can see it dissipate here. And pretty sharp, and beyond that, it's just standard stuff. 5.6, F8 f11 and f16 so all good in that regard i guess so if you liked this video click subscribe there will be more in the future and thanks for watching